In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make um, sprites move around the, the stage automatically so that you don't have to control them. This is useful for baddies, really. Um, and I'm going to show you three different ways of doing it. So I've got three different bat sprites on screen, and I'm going to show you how to make one this one, rather, not rather, this green one at the bottom move across, this goldy one move up and down, and this one's going to go across, down, and that way and then back to where it started from. So we'll start with bat 3. You'll notice I've given them all names so that I can tell what they are. I've even coloured in, them in slightly differently so I can tell them apart easily and um, what I've got here, bat 3, I want it to start here, move across to here and then move back. So when the green flag is clicked, first of all, I want to tell this bat where to start from. I want it to start there, I put it there, so if I go to motion and go to, it will automatically pick up the right coordinates, minus 180, 158. So what I'm going to do now is um, put a forever loop in, because I want this bat to repeat going backwards and forwards. Um, and Instead of go to this time, I want it to glide one second to. Now, because we're moving across, we're going to change this X number. And because we don't want it to move up and down, we're going to leave the Y number exactly the same. So I'm going to drag my bat over here, glide to, and that is minus 189. That's 189, rather, on the X coordinate. You can see it here. So as I'm clicking it, 189, that looks about right. So I'm going to change minus 180 to 189. Before I do that, I want it to point in direction and point right because it's moving right. I then want it to point in direction left and glide back to those coordinates to the start point. So glide 1 second to minus 180, minus 158. So, when the green flag's clicked, this bat will go to here and then start to glide backwards and forwards. The, the higher the number you put in here, the longer it takes to get backwards and forwards. So we'll use one second so it moves quite quickly. Click the green flag. There we go. That's my bat gliding backwards and forwards. Um, we're going to do the same thing for this bat except we want it to move up and down rather than left and right. So we're not going to change the X coordinate, we're going to change the Y coordinate. To write a script for this bat, I'm going to click on it to get the script panel open. Again, pretty much the same. When green flag is clicked, go to, and it'll pick up where you want it to start. Excellent. Forever loop. Uh, glide. One second, two. Where am I going? Down to the bottom, let's say there, because the green one's going to be. So that's Y this time, because it's up and down, minus 100. I forgot to put my point in direction again, didn't I? Actually, because it's moving up and down, it's not really going to affect it, because it's got only face left and right selected. So this one won't really look like it's changing much, but point in direction that way, um, just for good practice, really. Then point in direction, up and glide one second to, and it detects the start point, which should be the same as that. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put three seconds in there and three seconds in there, so it will move more slowly than this one, and you should be able to see a difference. Green flag, there we go. That's gliding one second, that's gliding three, and you can see that my bodies are moving up and down. Now, this bat slightly more complicated because we need different glide commands this way, this way, this way, then back again. So it's just a matter of adding a few more commands in, really. Green flag clicked, go to the start point, put you forever in, back to motion, glide one second, two and I want it to glide to here. Now we're going across this time, so I'm only changing X. That's one, one, that's 79 rather. So X is 79. Then glide 
one second two and x needs to be 79 to stay the same because it's going up and down now y is going to be 20 minus 26 let's just test this a sec there we go um minus 79 26 and then i want it to glide across to here keep y the same minus 26 and this is minus 175 so again glide to minus 175 and y was minus 26 so now let's test it there we go now it's doing that because i haven't told it to come back yet glide across back to this position so 79 minus 26 Ooh. and then finally glide back to this position seventy nine one hundred and ten so let's try that there we go aha that's why this here does not match the start point so I need to put that minus 169 now it should work not quite probably because I haven't put this as 110 let's try that now I've missed a point out there what I should have done here is pop another one in there and I want to get it back to this point here which is x is 79 y equals 110 like so let's try that there we go so now I've got it moving around that was a bit tricky as you see because you've got to keep an eye on your coordinates and really understand them so you know where you are but have a go at making your sprites glide around the stage automatically